The 2022 season got underway in January with the Predator Arcadia Arizona Open. Fedor Gorst got off to a winning start, retaining the crown he won in 2021. And in Derby City, Josh Filler took the Bigfoot challenge on the 10 by 5. But Fedor Gorst was at it again, winning the banks and the one pocket. And with it, the all around. Francisco Sanchez Ruiz won the nine ball discipline in what was going to be an outstanding season for the Spaniard. Then in February, the Predator CSI Pro Billiard Series visited Wisconsin for the Apex Open. And the man from Greece, Alex Kazakis, stood strong and didn't crumble like the Athens Acropolis to beat Roberto Gomez to win his first ever Pro Billiard Series title. March, and it was Viva Las Vegas for Victor Zelensky winning the Alpha Open. And another man in pole position from Paul Land was Wojtek Shevchik, who took the Predator World Temple title, beating Peruvian Christopher Tevez in the final. Then it was off to the Super Billiard Expo, won this year by Jason Shaw in the open event and Kelly Fisher carrying on where she left off last year by winning the women's event. It was a jump over the pond next for the Predator Germany Open and Greek Dimitris Lukatos made it two wins for Greece in the Pro Billiard Series events. September saw the return to Michigan for the Seabirds Michigan Open, Aloysius Yap becoming the second player to retain his crown, beating Robbie Capito in the final. Then in October, the Moscow machine was at it once again after his tournament, back after a ban forced on him because of the ongoing war in Ukraine. But it didn't seem to affect him too much as he lifted his second CSI Predator Pro Billiard Series trophy of the season to become the Fargo Rate Ohio Open champion. These Pro Billiard Series events are run alongside the CSI, BCA and USA Pool League Championships, which is a great way of giving league players the chance to get up close and personal to their favourite players, grab an autograph and even in some cases get the chance to play with them like a certain Rich Moon did when he partnered Fedor Gorse for a Scotch doubles friendly that the 420 Fargo rated BCA player well, he'll just talk about it forevermore, won't he? November, we all went to party in Puerto Rico and Carlo Biardo won his first Pro Billiard Series title with the Medaya Light Open, having finished runner-up to Fedor in the first ever Pro Billiard Series event in Arizona in 2021. Francisco Sanchez Ruiz continued his winning ways by taking the Predator World 8-Ball Championship that hadn't been contested for 10 years, Ruiz and David Alcady were also crowned world champions. And then Ruiz was up on the table yet again, celebrating becoming the US Open champion, beating a surprise finalist for many, it's fair to say, Max Lechner. Other champions in 2022 included Kelly Fisher and Aloysia Schapp, who won the men's and women's events at the World Games in Birmingham, Alabama. And it was sadly the last event that Mol Rudy would attend and it was during the women's world 10 ball event in austria that she passed away and there was a very emotional one minute silence and a really lovely tribute to her on the big screens around the Klagenfurt sport park venue chow che yu went on to become the winner after beating Wei Wei in the final which was Wei tu chen's first tournament back after the pandemic at the same venue, we saw the inaugural World Team Championships take place in Albin and Jasmine's hometown, of course. The brother and sister teamed up with Mario He, making up Team Austria A, but it was the team of Rublin Armit, Johan Chua and Carlo Biardo who took the trophy and the lion's share of the $136,000 prize money on offer after beating Team GB, consisting of Kelly Fisher, Jason Shaw and Darren Appleton. And Darren Appleton, of course, you are in our thoughts, mate. Sadly, he suffered a heart attack recently and we wish you a really speedy recovery and we're all behind you, mate. So come on, Darren, you, you're a fighter. Keep that fight going, mate, and we hopefully see you very, very soon. And I want to see you back in the commentary booth with me because you are one of the greats, mate. 
Okay, let's move on. SVB finally won the big one that had eluded him for so many years, but sheer determination and a never-ending combination of hard work and dedication finally saw the 38-year-old South Dakota kid, not really a kid anymore, but he was up on the table to celebrate unbelievably his first ever World Nine Ball Championship. Jason Shaw continued to dominate Turning Stone next, winning his eighth title. And the man from Glasgow also won the International Open, beating Viktor Zelensky in a brilliant final. Josh Filler added World Pool Master and UK Open Champion to his Derby City Bigfoot title. Add a couple of Euro Tours and MVP and hat-trick winning participant for Team Europe in the Moscone Cup. It wasn't a bad year for the German, was it? His wife Pia also winning her first ever Euro title. The couple will have plenty to celebrate on New Year's Eve. Albin Ocean had a quiet year for him, but he was Matchroom European Open champion and also won the Premier League title for the second time. And Ko Pin Yi won the first ever Matchroom Singapore nine ball event. Kelly Fisher won four out of six of the women's Predator Pro Billiard Series events for the women. Amber Chen was victorious in Red Deer in Canada, and she produced one of the most memorable images of 2022 with her celebration after beating Alison Fisher for the second time in the tournament in a shootout. Weiwei finally found a way to win her first ever major title. Can you believe it? Her first ever title. She beat Filipino killer the Cheska Centino, the young Filipino killer in Puerto Rico Medalla Light Women's event, finishing off a great year for Paul. I already mentioned the Moscone Cup briefly, but it was three in a row for Team Europe, winning 11-7 on American soil. Congratulations to Albin Ocean, Josh Filler, Jason Shaw, David Alcady, and the man of the year, Francisco Sanchez Ruiz, who not surprisingly finished top of the top money earners list for 2022 with a total of $261,350. Second was Fedor Gorse, remarkably, after missing half the season. He still managed to finish second on the money list, winning 18,708,310 rubles. Okay. 253,672 US dollars. He is now, of course, a US citizen. Citizen, I believe. I nearly said that twice. Citizen. I promise I haven't been at it yet. It's early, New Year's Eve. Josh Filler uh, was on third place with 190,000. Jason Shaw won 185,000. You can buy a few more watches and boss trainers with that. Shane Van Bonin, a healthy 140,597 dollars which will certainly buy a bit more fishing bait for him. Top pole, Viktor Zelensky made a nice few quid for a 21-year-old, $134,892. Albion Ocean finished seventh on $132,000. Kelly Fisher finishing eighth on the money list in front of two men. Way to go, Kelly. $119,174 richer. Couldn't lend us a few quid, could you, Kelly? Number nine, Superman Roberto Gomez fought off a lot of quip tonight to make 103000 And at number 10, helped by that $60,000 for winning the Predator World Temple title, Wojtek Shevchek more than doubled that from going deep in a few tournaments and finishing the season with a figure worth celebrating, $102,273. So what a great season we had in 2022 with more tournaments than ever before. And there are even more scheduled for 2023. All the action starts again on the 19th of January when the top 64 ladies in the world aim to be the Kamui Women's World Nine Ball Championship champion sorry, in Atlantic City. A tournament that hasn't been held since 2019. And the reigning champion is, guess who? You guessed it, Kelly Fisher. So happy 2023 to Paul fans around the world. Thank you so much for all your messages of support in 2022. And I cannot wait to meet a lot more of you in the coming year. So I would like to raise my glass and say cheers to everyone around the world and have a really happy 
full field, making pots 2023. Take care. Bye bye.